A day of fraternity and sharing. On June the 18th, some religious communities present in the Holy Land promoted an open day to introduce themselves and make themselves known. The initiative is in its second year and was hosted in the cloister of St. Anne's Church in Jerusalem's old city. We represent a group of lays and religious community who want to gather themselves to support each other. This year is the year of the Synod. The Synod principle is to walk together, religious, father, brothers, sisters and lays on the same way. And this is what we are trying to do. Many contemplative orders like ours are not engaged in the daily mission field. Today is a nice opportunity to get to know each other, share the talents of our monastic orders, learn about the mission of each community, and especially to introduce my religious community and our St. Marie Alphonsine, a daughter of Jerusalem. Friendship and acquaintance are the first goal of this meeting. This is also an opportunity for religious communities who live largely on tourism, which has been lacking in recent years because they exhibit their products and find a source of livelihood. 25 religious communities participated in this day, during which various activities were organized, including a market, selling food and handicrafts from the various monasteries and convents, olive oil, jams, sweets, infusions, wine, ceramics, cards and personal care products. We came to support the religious orders in the Holy Land. It is important to support the existence of these religious congregations and their role in guarding a Holy Land and sustaining Christian existence. I came today to express my solidarity with the religious congregations who serve the living stones in the Holy Land and to encourage them. Today, I bought a bottle of limoncello. As a pontifical mission, we are very interested in the Christian presence, especially the religious orders whose mission is work and prayer. When they asked us for support to organize this event, we did not delay in responding to their request. Prayer times, musical performances and a guided tour of St. Anne's Church were also offered during the day. The French ambassador to Israel, Eric Danon, was also among those in attendance. The church, which dates from the Crusader period, is in fact owned by the French government and stands on the site where tradition places the home of the Virgin Mary's parents. Included in the tour was a visit to the nearby pool of Bethesda, where Christ healed a cripple. The day ended with the prayer of Vespers, presided over by Monsignor William Shomali. <laughs>